Hello, welcome to another Swiggy Day's Bargain Bay Reviews. Um, gosh, it's been a long day today. You know, you just feel like you're at endless jobs all the time. Kind of, we bought an house a couple of years ago. Um, and it's like, a, it's an old, it's, like, it's effectively like an old terrace, but it's detached, it's like a detached terrace. And being a Victorian house, obviously it, it has things, it needs the work doing to it. We purposely picked a project because we've got a, a decent-ish size house for quite a low price. Uh, and it's got like this little outbuilding here and then we've got like a little sort of barn at front It's not like anything elaborate I don't like it's not like a big barn conversion type thing that he's on like grand designs or anything like that But uh, yeah, we, we, we just I, we just feel really stretched because we don't live near my family Well, they, they, they live near enough to see at weekends But like too far away really to come and help us when we need when, when we need it So we're like kind of here out on his own and obviously with coronavirus anyway, we can't really do it so you know, you're just spreading yourself really thin and you're trying to do it and then you do a job and then something else falls over and, and it just feels, oh, something else falls apart and you're just like, oh God, I've got to stop this out. So YouTube's really good for working out how to solve problems or working if something breaks or something goes wrong. I've fixed about six Henry Ulvers since uh, I've uh, been off work, so that's been... Maybe that's something I can go into if uh, if my uh, job disappears or something, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. This is a... Look at that for a can. Wow! That's fantastic. Uh, this is called Odyssey. Odyssey Craft Brewery, Luna, Luna Lager. 99 pence for a 330 can. That's a really good deal if it's decent enough. Uh, it came in, it comes in from um, Aldi again. So I'm going through a bit of an Aldi stage. I've got a local Aldi. And I used to do Tesco quite a lot, but I think Aldi you get cheaper beers. So let's do so I'm going to start going to Lidl. I'm going to start probably going to Morrison's or other places. They do really cheap stuff. Um, I, might, I might go back to Home Bargains. Home Bargains is really good. The problem with Home Bargains is they're not... It's difficult when I do a review because I might do a review or something. And I can't say anything. I ain't got an example on here. But you, you won't see it because it'll just be an absolute random order that they've got in or random stock from somewhere. So I'm trying, I'm trying to review things that everyone can um, access at least. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, I digress, let's get on with this beer, shall we? Not much coming off the nose. A little bit of a fresh, um, sort of ready maltiness. This is actually Paul's look. So a lovely golden lager colour. Carbonation looks decent enough. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a nice, like, lemony citrusiness on that, which is quite more than pleasant. I'm suspecting this potato might be dry hopped actually. Yeah, a, a, almost like a fruitiness, like a sweet fruitiness, also mixed in with the malts. I'm gagging for this today. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Head disappeared quite quick. We've got less than half a finger's worth now, but you get that quite a lot with lagers anyway. Let's dive in. Mm. Yeah, might be a little bit too cold, but actually, it's come right from back at the fridge. But you can have the lagers really cold. Um, it's still got a little sweetness to it. It's very non-offensive. It's very easy to drink. It's lovely on the mouth. Lovely softness on the mouth. Carbonation spot on. A um, little bit of a citrusiness going on in there. It's got a nice, it's got a, it's a very well nice balance. The malts are really nice, the balance is good. Uh, a quality beer, a quality lager for 99 pence. Yeah, it's a little bit metallic on the smell. Well, it's not bad actually, it's quite nice that. <laughs> yeah, it's crisp, crisp as you like. You're not getting any dodgy, syrupy flavours. It tastes fresh, it tastes like it's brewed, brewed with quality ingredients. It's not blowing me over, it's not like, it's not like, whoa. But that's good. That's a good lager. That's a good lager. Uh, it's not as good as Rhinebacker, it's not got as much character as a Rhinebacker. It's almost like there's not a lot going off with this, but it's very pleasant to drink, if you know what I mean. It's very pleasant on the mouth, it's very refreshing, it just does a spot now. But what I, that, I mean, that's how I like my lagers. To be honest with you, there's nothing worse than when you have a lager in, like the ones that like the Effies and stuff. I was drinking. And you drink it's like this horrible, weird, like syrupy, putty, cardboardiness, and it's that's not refreshing. Like don't say it's like a weird maltiness, and this ain't got that. 
which is quite nice. Mm. <laughs> Odyssey. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit of a caramel in this actually, isn't it? But that's it. That's that's all you're getting really. It's it's, it's just a box down the lager. Worth well worth ninety nine p. Stock up on that. Get some of that in your fridge. Get a few of those. Invite your mates round. That's pleasant. What's the uh, damage on this? So it says crafted in small batches using only uh, Northern Brewer and Northern Brewer and Aurora hops. Um. I tell you how much it what four point six percent four point six percent yeah uh lovely, I love the oh that's fantastic I love the can yeah well doesn't well done honestly nice beer that um I'm gonna rate that uh seven it's a seven point seven point seven seven point seven out of ten seven point seven uh, I think that's really good. For 99 pence, that's 25 pence cheaper than the other ones. And it does everything you want for a lager, that. And shove that in the fridge. Get loads of those in. Mm. Decent enough. Decent enough. Yeah, so it's a very good beer for the price, that. Yeah, for the price, very good beer. All right. I'm between you, Steve. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe if you want to. Um, hit the bell as well. Uh, or somebody else says that, don't they? Somebody else says that, so I'm probably going to get copyrighted for it. But um, yeah, enjoy your evenings, and I'll see you next time.